We pulled in and not even one minute later. <sighs> Todd Kapoos arrived. Chuck, Spurban Wait. Rider, nice to meet you, Todd. So ER right behind you, somewhere? Me? Hey. ER? I'll do, sir. All right, Bill Corey. Sent me a text just a few minutes ago. He's saying it's 70 miles out. I don't oh, know okay. How long ago so, that was, I just checked it. I didn't check the time. So we take our time, then he'll just show up in a little bit. He left. He left there where my map said he should take two and a half hours, and that was an hour and a half ago. Okay. So he's booking it. We'll see how he does. And they all met here. And okay. <laughs> now, how long how long has John Stew House been around? One hundred years this year. One hundred years this year. And how long has Indianapolis been around? The Indianapolis Speedway? Yeah. One hundred years this year. How about that? What a coincidence. John now, have you waitressed here all of those years? <laughs> oh ho. <laughs> that was that that was mean. <laughs> Now, only 16 of those years I have been here. Uh, <laughs> so, if you're ever in Indianapolis area, come to John's Famous Stews. 11, 26, Kentucky Avenue. Avenue. Yep. Free, shameless plug for a great place. Almost right underneath Interstate 70 on Kentucky. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Chris, Chuck, nice to meet you, Chris. Oh, he's got the GoPro with the chest strap. We got Everyday Riding, Navy Thomas, BC, Todd Kapuz, Suburban Rider. Yep. Okay, we're leaving out from John's Famous Stews just outside of, uh, well, not just outside of, I guess it's in Indianapolis. <laughs> and uh, at least for a little part of the ways, Todd Kapoos is going to be riding with us. And everyday riding. Uh, maybe one or two. I could, I could probably spare one or two. I always carry a pocket full of rubber bands and several paper clips, and you would not believe how many times in life that has come out really handy. Just enough to hold something lightly together but not crush it. Or a little paper clip to use for a wire tie. It takes up little or no space in my one back pocket. So anyway, this was a nice surprise that Everyday Riding actually made it down here because the original plan was for him to come by my house and stay for at least a day. But then if you watched his videos, you know he had a basement flooding problem that he had to take care of. So the soonest he was going to be able to make it to my place was Friday, which was the day we were heading out. But he decided to come and swing down to Indianapolis and meet us at the world famous, or I should say John's famous stews. And now he's going to ride with us at least a little bit of the way back to BC's place. Oop, changed our mind. We're going to make a couple of stops along the way. Got a couple of stores to pick up some items. We're working right now on the project. It's, uh, if I didn't post it before this video, I'll post it after this video. The 
project where we're putting some quick release latches on Tom's KLR so he doesn't have to do those uh, four screws every time to take it off and on. It'll operate pretty much like the side cases.